Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we shall dive in the exciting world of GitHub Campus Export program. What is that? Benefits of the program and how to do your best in the application part. Our major focus in this video will be how to answer the questions so that your application becomes shortlisted. So let's get started. GitHub Campus Expert program is a community of student leaders that strive to build diverse and inclusive spaces to learn skills, share their experiences, and build projects together. Campus experts are trained to be technical and professional leaders to build a strong community. They also receive support from GitHub to organize events, meetups, and hackathons. Before we go any further, it's really important to understand what this program is all about. Some people might think that to apply, you need to be a Git and GitHub wizard with an impressive GitHub profile. But it's not just about that. It's more about your ability to connect with others, build a community and show leadership skills. And other thing to note is that this program isn't your run of the mill ambassador program. It's super competitive with only about 1% of applicants making the cut. Talking about the benefits of program, the GitHub Campus Expert program offers you a chance to develop both your technical and professional skills while being part of a supportive community of peers who share your interests. You will have access to GitHub conferences and sessions along with valuable resources like the GitHub Student Developer Pack and cool swags and prizes. Additionally, you will receive sponsorship for events and opportunities to build meaningful connections, contribute to GitHub's expert roadmaps, and even potentially receive sponsorship to the GitHub universe. It's a fantastic way to grow personally and professionally while making an impact in the GitHub community. Let's discuss how to become a GitHub Campus Expert. The GitHub Campus Expert program applications open twice a year, one in February and other in August. These are the eligibility criteria of the program. Be at least 18 years old. You should be enrolled in a formal education institute. You should have more than one year left as a student before graduating. And you should have a GitHub profile at least six months old. To become a GitHub Campus Expert, you will go through the following trick. First, you will fill out the application. After your application is shortlisted, then you will be asked to record a video in which you will discuss about yourself, your community, challenges it is facing and why you want to become a GCE. After clearing the video round, you will have to complete a six week training that will help you to become a better leader. After that training, you will have an onboarding call with the program manager and voila, you will be officially a GitHub Campus Expert. Now let's discuss the most important aspect of the selection process. That is answers to the application questions. The first question is briefly introduce yourself and your community. Now here, what they are looking for is community building. That means does the applicant have experience in establishing and operating a community? Inclusivity, which means does the community strive to be inclusive, especially to the minorities and underserved communities? Advocacy, 
which is does the applicant advocate for their community members personal and professional growth that is does the applicant show signs of self-improvement and openness to feedback now here your strong answer will be an answer that can show active leadership of yours in an inclusive community with a focus on minority groups, skill development and opportunities. Your community should be active. The worst answer will be something that shows self-promotion in which your focus is on I rather than we and you do not describe the community you are in or want to grow. Second question is share details about the events your community has organized in the past year. Now here what they are looking for is event diversity. That means does the applicant organize a variety of events like meetups, talks or hackathons. Educational impact that is does the applicant focus on sharing experience, knowledge and facilitating learning resources community reach which is does the applicant aim to reach students in their local communities and grow technical communities within their campus now here your strong answer will be that you organized diverse and inclusive events with a focus on skill development and community growth and you provide specific examples and outcomes your somehow acceptable answer can be you have organized some events inclusive to all skill levels and shows a general understanding of community needs. Alternatively, you have clear plans to organize events because you want to start a community and have a clear goals or at least an idea for your events and community. The worst answer will be a vague or generic description of events no ideas for events for your community or want to create a community solely for the promotion of github the last question is can you tell us about a time when you took the lead in your community to address a challenge here what they are looking for is problem solving skills that means, does the applicant identify and address challenges in the community? Leadership skills. That means, does the applicant demonstrate leadership qualities? Resourcefulness. That is, how does the applicant plan to use GitHub Campus Expert resources to address challenges? Inclusivity. That is, does the applicant focus on building inclusive and diverse communities? Your strong answer will look like something in which you provide specific examples of leadership in addressing community challenges with a focus on inclusivity and actionable solutions. Clearly understanding the resources available through the GitHub Campus Expert program and have plans to utilize them effectively. The worst answer can be a vague or generic description of events and great misconception about what the GitHub Campus Expert program can provide. Here are some tips that will be helpful in standing out in your application. Tip number one, be concise and to the point. Keep your answers clear and relevant to the questions being asked. Tip number two, showcase your creativity and enthusiasm for technology. Share examples of projects you have worked or an initiatives you have led. And finally, proofread your application before submitting it. Spelling and grammar mistakes can detract from your overall message. You should try to avoid the following things. Number one, unformatting. Messy or unformatted applications are challenging to grasp. 
provide clear and concise answers to avoid confusion for the reader. Number two, absolutely, it's great to seek advice from those who know their stuff, but always remember to stay true to yourself. When filling out your application, let your own voice shine through. Lastly, don't rely on AI tools for writing your application. It's important to be genuine and authentic, as using such tools could actually harm your chances. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. If you would like to chat more about the program, need some guidance, want to review your answers before you submit your application or just want to discuss other community programs or data science, I am here to help you on TalkMed. You can find me under the username munsif underscore raza. I'll be happy to assist you and don't worry, it will be free of cost. You can also get connected with me on LinkedIn. I have given the profile link in the description below. In conclusion, the GitHub Campus Expert program is an incredible opportunity for students to develop their skills build meaningful connections and make a lasting impact in the tech community. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Until next time, happy coding.